Jeton Couture embodies the fusion of superb design expertise from Jacob Lupino and Anthony Pitorino. And some of the clients are Emma Bunton from the Spy Schools, Lily Cole, Kylie and Danny Minogue, and Nicole Kidman. And greetings, great to see you. Thank Good you. to see you. Okay, for a guy that wears gumboots, which I do, or galoshes in the States, tell us about couture. What actually, what actually is it? Um, couture is like high-end, uh, you know, uh, workmanship. So basically it's a, uh, you know, extreme form of uh, manufacturing where most of it's done by hand and um, it's a personal service that you offer your client one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So it's a design process that you pretty much design with the client and create a piece of art almost. So it's a, a sculpturing of design, isn't it? Yeah, it is because basically you're trying to fit every individual personality and you want to bring that personality into your couture mm -hmm. garment. So it's so personal dealing with your clients that it, it just takes it to another level. It's high-end fashion? It is. Who are your clients? I mean, what are they, I mean, what, what say, are they uh, bought housewives? Are they celebrities? Are they, are they, are they what? It's interesting, so it's a cross from, you know, a housewife mm. to a very successful working class woman. Yeah. To... Lots of celebrities. Yeah. <laughs> celebrities um, need, you know, couture on a weekly basis. There's mm. always an event. So, um, and I think, you know, with technology today, the world is fully connected. So one red carpet event in America gets seen all over the world. Mm. So um, technology is really, it's been what's gelled and fused our business mm. and connected us. And so we're constantly doing real people, but also there's celebrities. So mm. we'll have, you know, just a young girl who may be like having her 16th birthday and mm. her parents want to buy her an incredible dress. Mm. She understands couture. She's a generation that's mm. been raised with couture, thanks mm. to people like Britney Spears and Pink and Madonna, mm. that they're wearing these elaborate corsets in their film clips. Mm. And these young girls are like, well, I want a corset and they know that Jeton do couture. Mm. So we have like, you know, young girls, 16 years old, coming in for a 16th birthday dress, of course, quite wealthy. Um, she'll walk in while one of the celebrities are walking out. So she mm. walks into the boutique and she's like, oh my God, you know, there's Danny Minogue or there's Kylie, and mm. they're all sort of shocked. Um, and that's our reality. We deal with real people. What sort of price range? Because I mean, I mean, we're all wondering, okay, how much, yeah. say, would an outfit that say, um, that Kylie would wear, how much? Um, most of the gowns that say a celebrity orders, they're always quite elaborate mm. because you know the event caters for that. Mm. So it's always red carpet, it always has a train and some beadwork. So I mean, I don't think we make any gowns for celebrities that are under $10,000 for the simple fact that they always choose a very elaborate fabric. Mm. Um, so I'd say from ten Starting to 35000 Whoa, and that's yeah. just Worn once. That's worn once. Pretty much. So what do they do with it after it? Do they like chop it up and use it as a mini skirt or something? <laughs> we've actually on? had a few clients that have bought their gowns back and you know we've cut it for them so they can wear it because no, we don't but that's just our do real clients, not yeah. our celebrities. Well, celebrities <laughs> our celebrities it put it away. It's, mm. it, yeah. You know they don't they don't ever yeah. wear it again unless they pass it down to maybe one of their cousins mm. or something. Um, but our clientele in particular, um, especially our celebrities, mm. they love their job, yeah. they love their life. Mm. So when they order a gown from us, it's something that they're investing in. So mm. it's like art for them. Mm. They actually put it away um, and they have like a collection of their favorite mm. gowns. And like for Kylie, hers always go on display mm. museums around the world. And a lot of our um, clientele are like that. They order mm. a gown, it's something that they respect like artwork. What about the passion for what you do? Obviously you have a lot of passion for it. Mm -hmm. We're both um, from Italian backgrounds, mm -hmm. so we've been raised with parents that worship dressing. Mm. And from you know a young kid, like my mother would make suits for me, and I'd be sitting there while she's pinning me, and you mm. know. So I was raised with that knowledge. Um, so we sort of had this natural instinct with style, mm. and I think it's from you know our background and our culture. So for inspiration, simple things like having time. Mm. Luxury for us is time because we don't have time. Mm. So when we do have time, we love to catch up with friends and have it throw a dinner party. And that for us is when we get inspired. And with your product, the beautiful garments that are sold on the world stage, 
Mm. Is there a touch of Australiana there? Maybe yeah. a cup of corks or something? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. But yeah. but there is Maybe in the future, though. <laughs> there is definitely an influence. Um, once again, being Italian, mm. I think uh, that is our flavour. But the fact that we're Aussie boys, um, mm. you know, we're quite... Australia's a very relaxed country and the lifestyle's quite relaxed as well. So I think, you know, we, we're quite sort of elaborate in our personal taste and being Australian has cleaned that up and it's quite sort of relaxing mm. to the eye. It's not so, um, I think know, it also gives you, elaborate. Really, it gives you a good balance. Mm. It's a great balance. Yeah. So, and I think because we're both male, uh, that's what our female clients connect with, mm -hmm. that we dress women through the eyes of men. So it's the way men want to see women dress. Mm -hmm. And that's what's made us sort of quite popular because mm -hmm. women know, and they always say to us after the event, I had so many compliments from men. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, that's because you've been dressed through a man's eyes. And mm. they're like, oh, because I've never been complimented by a man. Mm. So this is where they, you know, love jeton mm. because the essence of it is it's dressing through a man's eyes. And the fact that we're Australian, we have this very relaxed, mm. tranquil um, aesthetic. So I think that's what, you know, mm. Australia's done for us, which yeah. is great. And that's why we stand out on a world stage because our work is different, the fact that we're Aussie boys, mm -hmm. but with an yeah, Italian yeah, background. background. Yeah. And do you see yourselves relocating, say, to London or Milan or to New York, yes. all the above? <laughs> yeah. That would be a great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. great thing. But uh, we are planning plan. to move to New York. Yeah. yeah. And it's also an important part of expanding your business and your clientele and yeah. creating the awareness of your product. Yeah. yeah. Well, there seems to be a natural pull now for our product there. Um, we constantly get calls now. We just had a call um, last week from um, Paris Hilton. She'd seen a dress that we'd made for a celebrity in Australia mm -hmm. and they wanted the dress flown up straight away for fittings. And we're like, oh, okay. You know, so it's just a natural mm -hmm. um, progression really for us. Yeah. So we feel that, you know, we'd be silly not to investigate that option now because it's just, it's a country that fully understand and have a need for what we do. Mm. If somebody wants to find out more about your beautiful product, the easiest way is via the internet? At um, www.jetoncouture.com. Okay, say if, if you had um, all your clients, the ones that are so happy with what you've designed for them, how would they describe in a word what you do? I think passionate. Mm. Yeah, I'd say so. We're very, I mean, you know, the sacrifice we've made it's for a, our it's a passion. art, yeah, it's passion. Mm. Anthony and Jacob, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Coming up next, we meet Melbourne's Who's Who of Busking on Who's Who Speaks.